Hey, what is going on with you, my name is Ash, and welcome to another episode of the Tenerife Career Mode. If you do enjoy the video, please drop a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you like, check out your social media links or links to the previous episodes. They'll be down in the description below. So we'll be going on into the first game, which is going to be a home tie against Real Valladolid. Looking to try and continue our decent form in the league and push up the table as much as possible. And we get the early opportunity here for Garcia playing it inside along to Alex Garcia who plays it to Padermo. Padermo manages to turn his defender and eventually will get a shot off but it's well saved by the keeper and Valadie managed to clear. They then get their own opportunity of their own playing the ball around. Manu Del Moro picking up the ball, playing it around. Eventually it finds uh, Diego Rubin who manages to force a save out of Rubin Blanco. And then from the resulting corner, Blanco has to tip over to keep us at 0-0. Into the second half we go and Manuel Dumoro looking to pick out a cross. It falls back to the back post. Mafio tries to clear it. falls back out to Angle. Angle looks to turn on the ball, try to find some space inside. And they will eventually get their shot off and the keeper makes another brilliant save. So we then took in the 80th minute get an opportunity of our own some nice work here by Angelina imagine to go through a few players finds Garcia Garcia finds Santa Maria whose shot strikes the post and unfortunately we were unable to take the lead and we did end up drawing the game at nil nil we go into a training session now and we see growth from Alex Garcia going up to a 69 rated player that is going to bring us on to our second game of the episode which is going to be against Bilbao Athletic which is the second team of Atletico Bilbao we go into this game trying to get a win under our belts and straight away uh, Cristo Gonzalez manages to find his way down a wing, looks to get past a couple of players and eventually lays it off and it's put into the back of net to make it 1-0. Bilbao get an opportunity from corner which is headed off the line by Garcia keeping us at 1-0. Then Gonzalez plays the ball through, Santa Maria hits the post, it falls back to Padermo who hits the crossbar and then Santa Maria picks up the loose ball and puts it in the back of net making it 2-0. Bilbao then get another opportunity turning on the ball looking to try and find an opportunity to get a shot off. They eventually do but it's poor and straight at Ruben Blanco. We then get another opportunity, Angelino picking up the ball out wide looking to try, try and turn inside trying to find a a pass it eventually falls to Santa Maria who tucks it away to give us a 3-0 lead. Into the second half we go now and Athletic, Bilbao Athletic pick up the ball once more play it down the line looking to try and get a cross in. It is headed out but falls to their striker who puts it in the back of the net making it 3-1 giving us uh, giving them a lifeline. They force another fantastic save from Ruben Blanco it falls out to the corner flag but they pick up the loose ball look to bring it back inside and eventually have another shot which is tipped onto the bar by Ruben Blanco. Then as we try to get the ball forward, they pick up the loose ball once again. They turn on it, try to get it inside the box. We header it out and then they strike from distance, forcing another save from Ruben Blanco, who is keeping us in the lead in this game. They still get another opportunity to try and get back into this game. They play it around the box, eventually forcing another save from Ruben Blanco, who tips it away. In the 78th minute, again, they'd get another opportunity. And if it wasn't for Ruben Blanco, we'd definitely be at least 3-3, if not 3-4 uh, down in this game. And they continued to push forward. They moved the ball so quickly back to front, eventually finding the ball just outside the box. They swing it across. We miss the header, and Blanco makes a brilliant save with his foot, and we end up winning the game 3-1. So Blanco's the hero in the game, and we move on into another training session. So as you can see here, we're going to get another training session in, and we're going to get growth from our Youth Academy goalkeeper. Aguero to bring him up a rating. We go in to a scout report and we're going to go ahead and bring in Alfonso Cano who is a 69 to 93 potential right, left, left mid. We have some decent players in the youth academy and we need to bring some of those up in this season. Padermo wanted a new contract so we've gone ahead and offered him a new deal for 20 grand a week and we move on into our final game of the episode this is going to be a home tie against Gymnastic and we get the first opportunity some nice work here by Padermo he tries to lay it off but the cross is poor and Santa Maria can't win the header it falls back to Cristo Gonzalez who plays it to Manny Garcia who has a shot which is well saved by Reina keeping it at 0-0 then we get an opportunity Mafio plays it through to Padermo Padermo turns on it looking to try and pick out a player he finds Cristo Gonzalez who smashes it across the keeper but off the post keeping the scores level 
into the second half we go and it's Gymnastic who then take the upper hand in the second half playing the ball through and they manage to force another brilliant save from Ruben Blanco who's been our absolute hero in this episode they then get an opportunity to pick up the ball from a throw and they play it down the line cross it in towards the middle of the post but Blanco makes a brilliant save and keeps the scores nil nil so we end up picking up another draw from this game and that is going to help us progress in this season. So we just sit outside the playoffs at the moment, but some decent results in the next one could see us push up to the top spots. But that's going to bring this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button. My name's Ashley. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.